Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rayzak at CM Trading. Today is August 30th, 2022, and today is Tuesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, oil gains to $97 a barrel. But first, looking at the major economic events of today. Out of Germany, we have a monthly CPI number coming out. And then at 4 p.m. South African time, out of the United States, we have a massive consumer confidence number coming out. That's a very important number that's coming out. Now, looking at the various markets, starting out with the Forex symbols, the major pairs bounce off of their lows, which is a really decent bounce. And looking at the indices, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq do the same. They bounce, but barely. Looking at commodities, gold sitting on support while oil gaining, and looking at the stocks, it's Microsoft, the Gap Down, and Intel considered looking still very weak. And lastly, looking at Bitcoin really unchanged and just a minor bounce. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go. We're looking at the Euro USD, and you can see this nice bounce from 99 almost to 100 to 1 zero which is a hundred pip bounce as we got there now we're in this really really tight range we didn't break lower yesterday i mean we broke lower for the year yesterday but we didn't break lower and stayed lower which i would have anticipated because it's been so weak and so beaten up as you could see it's making a soft landing when we're looking at a weekly chart now looking at the gbp usd same story it bounced but barely very very little here if you look at the aussie dollar still relatively strong Looking at the Japanese yen, it's right there at resistance ish area. So it's going to take a lot to push us above that 139 threshold because historically speaking, 139 has been a very big threshold for the Japanese yen for the dollar. Now, looking at the major indices, the Dow Jones did tumble last week, right? And then it did bounce just a bit, about 100 to 200 points, nothing to write home about. And the same thing happened with the NASDAQ. You could see that barely bounce, that small bounce, that green candle, which was this morning and yesterday. And that is generally where it's standing at right now. So I anticipate maybe going back to the 12,800-ish level, if we do get that end of the summer rally, something to keep an eye out. Now, looking at the individual stocks, okay? Before we get to the individual stocks, let's take a look at commodities. Gold sitting at support at 1731, just there, okay? And this is just hanging by the balance in order to break down further. Looking at crude oil, as mentioned, $97. A nice little rally up yesterday after it crossed its three major moving averages. The eight day, the 20 day, and the 200 day, and you can see that nice alley-oop. So that was a nice breakout if you wanted to play the moving averages. Now looking at the individual stocks, Microsoft gapped down and sold off to 265. That is having a major retracement there and a major correction. And looking at Intel on daily, still making lows, okay? Still on its lows, still making lows. It's right there, okay? It just needs to, if it breaks 30, it's gonna to go to 20, and that could happen coming September, October, so keep that in mind. Lastly, looking at Bitcoin, not doing much, 20,554 right now. So it bounced above that 19K, but still relatively weak, and we're at the bottom of the range. So, it, you know, higher probability trade is to actually buy it here, okay? But every time it gets to these type of levels, I become a little bit uncomfortable with it because when is it going to actually break down because you know at a certain point something's going to have to give with bitcoin we're going to have to see some sort of future in it so keep that in mind this is fred rezak i want to wish you guys a great training day thank you